Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another MLB The Show 21 video. And today I have another XP and stub glitch method. And this one will break the game, guys. But first, guys, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Again, guys, 92% of you are not subscribed and you guys are killing it on these videos. Keep up the support and I'll keep pumping out these videos. Thank you so much for watching and let's get right into the video. All right, so first, guys, I'm going to show you all the rewards that I got from doing this method and tell you how long it took me. Okay, or actually, I'm going to show you how long it took me. First off, I'm going to show you guys how far I got in a third inning program. I earned almost, I'd say probably 300,000 XP in one night, and it was about probably three hours. Now I'm going to show you of course how many stubs i made if you can see in the top left corner now i probably had fifty thousand before last night i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys so let's go to marketplace let's look at the orders and i sold troy glouse of course so that's eighty-seven thousand right there if you guys do this glitch and then look at all these pieces of equipment that went back up guys so you guys are probably getting the hint that it's the road to show glitch still but guys don't click off the video right now okay this method is totally different from the new one so stick around i'm going to show you guys how you can max out your rewards and again i got almost 300,000 stubs in less than three hours okay so it's not the regular old show, road to show glitch so stick around i'm going to show you guys how to do it after this that's 87,000. this is a hundred thousand right here and then all these little ones and then you go over again Look, 5,000, 7,000, 7,000, 10,000, 9,000, 8,000. That's like 60K, 80K. And then uh, this Rob Dibble was not before. So, so guys, I just want to move my camera for a second and show you guys the timestamps on these to so you know that I'm not lying, okay? So, obviously, I said that I started with around probably 70K of XP in the third inning, okay? So, from 6.30, I had 70K, okay? I went from 6.30... And I got all these, I probably made around like 70, 80K right here. So I'll show you guys from 6.30 until 8.30 is when I started making my other sales. So you guys can see, it only took me about two hours to complete the entire thing and get 300,000 XP to get Troy Glouse. Because I'm at 360,000, okay? And I started at 70,000. I can't prove that. You guys can look at my other video. My last video that I posted, go watch it. I'm at 70,000 XP if I showed it. So you guys know I'm not lying. I, I swear to God, this video is not clickbait. It took me dead ass two hours to get up to Troy Glouse. That shows you guys, that is proof right there. You can see the timestamps in the video, okay? That it only took me two hours for my first set of fucking sell orders to my next i'm just saying guys believe me if you want you can go look at my other videos i'm not lying about the 70,000. you guys are gonna have to take my word for that but i'm telling you guys this glitch is that effective so now guys i'm going to show you exactly how you can do this differently that i've been doing it the entire time and i've kind of been leading you guys on but not really telling you the whole glitch because i really thought this was going to get patched but it hasn't so i'm just going to tell you guys now how i've been doing this so fast and how i've almost maxed out every single archetype and i've really barely played it to be honest i've been saving it because i didn't want to complete all of them before the third inning program came out so here's what i've been doing guys i have three archetypes okay as you can see in the top i have a pitcher a fielder which you guys are probably unfamiliar with, and a hitter, of course. So, I've maxed out all the hitting archetypes, so I don't use this one, this archetype, or loadout spot very often. What you guys are probably new to is the fielding and pitching. Let's back all the way out and start from the beginning. When you start a new player, so first you wanna go up and you wanna get the roster. Now, some of you guys were commenting that um, the roster doesn't show up for you anymore. If you guys just come to the roster right here, there's a bunch of these. Like this one right here, Road to the Show, all zeros, choose Rockies. So basically what you want to do in that is just go through the Road to Show, choose the Rockies, and you'll probably have a team with 99s versus all zeros. But since I've already loaded one, what you're going to do once you download that, you're going to go in here, you're going to download it, or sorry, you're going to start new set up my ball player you're going to choose your loadout which it doesn't really matter and then you're going to load saved rosters so 
I'm going to choose the one that I already have downloaded, of course. So once you guys load into your team, okay, what you want to choose here is I'm game. Let's try it. All right. Somewhere in the infield. And now this is going to be for your fielding archetype, which I always choose first base. You guys can choose shortstop if you want. That gets a lot of putouts and assists. But basically, we're focusing on putouts here. So first base gets the most putouts Rolling by far is what I've noticed from all I've done. Almost every single archetype, guys, please listen to me. First base gets the most put outs by far because every time somebody gets a little grounder and throws it first, that's a put out. Next, what you want to do is you want to sim. And now this is going to be the most important here, too. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just sim. OK, you're going to sim that you're going to get through this. And it should be this it's actually happening game right here he should ask you what position you want to play okay so here when he asks you where you want to play you're gonna say i love it now just like in the last video if you guys have a lot of hitting archetypes to do i prefer you pick this one but if you're like me and you have most of the hitting one done and you want to start focusing on fielding and pitching now I prefer you pick this one because you're going to get more appearances on pitching and stuff like that. So that's the one I'm going to pick for now because I'm sure most of you have done probably most of the um, hitting ones. Now, once you get in, you're going to be on first base for your first game. Okay, so that's when you want to pick your fielding one. This will get you a bunch of putouts. It's going to be the same method. But look, guys, I want to show you something else that's different. Okay, now that you're pitching, you're going to get this roll. A designated hitter this is when the hitting archetype comes in so you're gonna be switching between all your archetypes all the time okay this is what I've been doing you guys have been wondering why I've been getting done so fast I've never seen a video on this I want to bring this out to you guys now because I thought honestly it was gonna get patched and it has been almost a month now and I'm almost done anyway so I don't really care anymore now see the next game you're a starting pitcher you're working on three archetypes at the same time, guys. And you're getting them done quick. Very, very quick. But you guys can see right there, I just got 17 strikeouts and nine innings pitched. Like, guys, that that gets you like 10% of your pitcher done. Guys, please take advantage of this. I'm not lying when I said I literally am almost up to 300,000 stubs from just last night. I swear to God, guys, you can see my orders. You can see everything. I am not lying at all about stuff that I bought or sold or anything like that. And you guys are probably wondering, well, that only adds up to like 200,000. I'm going to show you where the other stubs came from real quick. So you guys don't think that I'm lying. You get a lot of stubs from just the program for the like feeling and stuff. So right here, you get 400 stubs. There's 400 more stubs. I think you get like 5,000 stubs right there. It doesn't say it, but you do. That's for everything. And then once you get like the diamonds, it goes up even more, I'm pretty sure. You get 600 stubs, 600 stubs, 600 stubs. And then you get like 1,000 stubs right there. It really does add up. And I did probably I did three archetypes from gold to diamond so that's not even a full archetype that you could be getting all the xp for because guys remember you get 8000 xp 8000 xp 8000 xp 11000 xp you guys do the math you guys figure out how much that is and you guys let me know and also all the other stubs obviously came from the third inning program if you guys already have that finished then i guess this isn't that effective but i'm sure most of you don't because unless you're glitched, this is the best way to do it. If you have not done any archetypes yet, please, please do this. So guys, I thought I would just let you know what I've been doing this entire time. Yeah, I'm sorry for not letting you guys know in the previous videos, but honestly, I did think it was going to get patched. I'm not going to lie. So now I just want to tell you guys so you can get all your archetypes done as fast as possible and finish the third inning program because I'm probably going to finish it tonight. As you guys seen, I had a gold one to do and that diamond one to do still. Also, guys, when I finish all of the archetypes, I'm going to be posting a video on all the best ones for pitchers, fielding, hitting, 
all that. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to turn on them post notifications and subscribe to this channel so you can see that video. I hope you all enjoyed. Hit that like button if you haven't already. And guys, thank you so much again on these videos. I can't say it enough because we're at 285 subscribers. We've gained almost 40 subscribers in the last two weeks we're about to hit 300 subscribers if we could do that in this video i'd appreciate it so much and yeah guys peace out i'll see you in the next one love you